To cut the tray to length or to a variety of forms, such as sweeps and elbows, use a bolt cutter with a 45 degree head and make all cuts tight to the cross wire intersections for a smooth, safe cut. Always begin cutting the bottom wires first with the tray upside down. Rest the lower jaw against the cross wire. This will angle the cut away from the weld. A proper cut will not leave sharp edges. Cut the bottom wires alternating side to side. Flip the tray over and cut the top wires. Then cut the side wires, always angling the cut away from the new end. Remember, always cut at the junction of two wires to avoid sharp ends. Use a file or grinder to finish top wires. Cablo cut is the easiest way to cut and fabricate wire mesh tray. It ensures a perfect, clean cut in less than a second. The rechargeable Makita 18 volt lithium ion battery makes up to 300 cuts between charges and will make Cablo cut your favorite tool on your next installation. Always begin cutting the bottom wires first with the tray upside down. Rest the lower jaw against the cross wire. This will angle the cut away from the weld. A proper cut will not leave sharp edges. Cut the bottom wires alternating side to side. Flip the tray over and cut the top wires. Cablofill painted trays provide a UL-rated bonding location on the end of every tray. Use a utility knife or screwdriver to loosen the edge of the painted over masking tape covering the bonding strip. Position tray so that the exposed copper strips are aligned and use SWKs to join tray sections. Add another SWK to the bottom section over the copper strips for proper grounding. 